Hello, this is Sunny. Welcome back. Today I want to talk about DNS recursive query and iterative query and their difference. The goal of DNS is to resolve a fully qualified domain name to an IP address. The process is called name resolution. Let me give you their definitions first. The recursive query demands a name resolution or the answer it cannot be found. The recursive query is between DNS client and its local DNS server. On the other hand, the iterative query is between a local DNS server and other DNS servers. The iterative query do not demand a name resolution, which means other servers, other DNS servers, may provide a name resolution if they know, or simply respond with a referral. Let me use an example to demonstrate the whole process of name resolution and demonstrate these two different queries. Suppose I want to go to a Google web server. I type in www.google.com in my browser and hit enter. My web browser will check two places first to see if there's any previous name resolution record of this Google machine. One place is my computer's cache memory. The other place is a simple text file called hosts. Suppose there's no record in either of these two locations. My computer would ask my local DNS server I want to know IP address of www.google.com. This initial query from my computer, a DNS client, to my local DNS server is recursive query because my computer demands a clear answer. To resolve a name is the responsibility of my local DNS server. Let me assume that my local DNS server is a brand new machine and it has no record of any IP address of www.google.com. He would reply, I'm sorry, I don't know, but I will find it for you because that's my responsibility. Now the iterative query starts. Remember, during the iterative query, other servers can simply provide a referral if they do not know the IP address of www.google.com. Keep in mind, my local DNS server is looking for IP address of a Google web server, a specific host at the very bottom of a namespace pyramid specify by its fully qualified domain name www.google.com. First, my local server will go up to the root domain server because everybody knows the root domain server and asks, do you know what's the IP address of www.google.com? Root domain servers are only responsible for the top level domain servers such as .com, .edu, .org, and etc. Thus, the root domain server would reply, I don't know the IP address of www.google.com, but I do know an IP address of a .com server. Here, the root domain server gives a referral. Then 
my local DNS server goes to .com server and asking the exactly same question. Do you know what's the IP address of www.google.com? The .com server and would reply, I don't know IP address of this Google web server, but I do know an IP address of Google DNS server under me. And you can ask him. Here, the .com server is also give a referral. Well, my local DNS server never give up. He finds the Google DNS server and asks the exact same question. Do you know what's the IP address of www.google.com? Well, this time the answer is yes, because Google DNS server shouldn't know any Google host IP address. His response is like this. Here's one IP address you can use. Once my local DNS server gets its IP address, it informs my computer, which will use this IP, IP address to talk to the Google web server. At the same time, my computer saves this IP address in the cache memory just in case it will use it again. So does my local DNS server. It saves this IP address in its memory. Next time, when any other computer in this network ask the same question, and it would give this IP address directly from its memory without going through all those repetitive steps I mentioned above. In summary, DNS recursive query is between a DNS client, which is my computer, and my local DNS server. The local DNS server is responsible for answering the questions from DNS clients. When this local DNS server could not resolve a new name from its own database, it will make iterate query to other DNS servers until it finds the answer. I hope this video is helpful. Thank you very much and see you next time.